Hello everybody, uh, today we're going to visit a place called Rutland Water in Leicestershire and part of that uh, Rutland Water is a reserve called Linden Visitors Centre and Nature Reserve. They have an osprey project here and at the moment they have four chicks, so you've got the two adults and you've got four chicks, so we're going to take a walk down to the hide it's about a 30 minute walk, so I've ended up uh, devising uh, some sort of bag with a trolley for my um, long lens because when you get to the hide, the, um, the Ospreys are at a good distance, so uh, all the shots will be distant shots, but uh, we'll see how we get on. So what it is, it's actually a luggage trolley bit like a sack trolley but this one actually folds up. I've got two of these camera bags so what I've done is I've actually fixed it to this trolley so it's a bit of a permanent feature and I'm gonna slot my 600mm lens into the bag so I can pull that along. Okay well I've managed to get my tripod strapped to the side of it there's a little pocket to the side that the two of the legs go in so hopefully that should be pretty comfortable to use Rutland Water have had an Osprey project for many years now so I've been coming down here for quite a few of those myself. It's been absolutely wonderful to see. As I said, I've been coming to Rutland Water for a few years now. These Ospreys, they landed in the UK around about March time. They actually flew from West Africa, a 3,000 mile journey. And then as soon as they landed, they start building the nest and then they breed right up till around about September when they return to West Africa, doing the 3,000 miles again. The incredible thing is the chicks who are born here they will fledge and then they will fly 3,000 miles to West Africa and two years later they will fly back to this location. How incredible is that? Mind-blowing. Nature's absolutely wonderful. The great thing about this walk is you've got all this undergrowth all round and there's butterflies there's small birds so keep your eyes open as you're walking down i've had some fantastic shots in the past of all sorts so we're approaching the bird hide that we need to be in to view the ospreys this hide was built in 2019. There has been a hide here for many years, but they took down that hide and they built this new one. It's a double tier one, so you've got an upper level and a lower level. Today, I'm going to go in the lower level because I want to be down to water level. Um, but if I was staying a lot longer, what I would do is I'd go in the upper level because you've got that chance of the Ospreys coming flying over the hide 
and that will make a fantastic shot. The beauty of spending time in the hide photographing the ospreys is of course the other wildlife that can show itself. I've had some incredible shots down there and it's been a fabulous day. see they are at a distance but it's worth waiting it out it's actually worth spending the day down there because what will happen is that ospreys will come closer to the hide i'll show you some pictures at the end of this of what i've taken in the past where the ospreys hovered right over the hide so it's worth waiting out it's a great visit down there and i'm sure you can see you know they're really exciting to watch Okay, well we got to see six osprey there, the four chicks and the two adults. We're well away from the nest in this hide. You do need a strong lens, um, you need a telescope's really good to view it. Um, you can do it with binoculars as well, so you'll get some nice views of that. But yeah, really happy. I'm back at the car now and there's the trolley and I have to say it's been an absolute 
nightmare with that trolley. The wheels aren't big enough, the wheelbase isn't wide enough, and it's been like pulling a badly behaved dog. So back to the drawing board with that. I need bigger tyres, rubber tyres, a wider wheelbase. Thank you.